Welcome to another Ask Zendler. So in this one, what I want to cover is emails and specifically the filtering options inside of email broadcasts. So as you can see here, I've set up quite a few um, different uh, mails that have gone out and a few test ones up here for this video. So we're going to go through and I'm going to show you how you can filter for an email set. Okay, so let's go to create new broadcast and we'll label this so we're going to call it this is what this label is going to be called yeah so let's do this one and say 95% off okay now I'm not going to send this out because I don't want to send it out to my students but I'm going to show you how the filtering works and then you'll sort of understand okay so let's click, click create and we're going to come in here so you can see that's the name of it that's all good uh, we've got our from name this is where it's um, showing who from and where it's the actual from email address which you can change so if we look over here you can see contacts in selected list zero so why is it zero well it's zero because we haven't got any lists we haven't got any members in the actual list so that's all that means so to get them to come up we need to go to recipients now if you have email lists you'll have more options but by default without any email lists which is another video uh, we can come in here and click and you're going to see all contacts yeah don't worry about that test that's something else so you will have all contacts if you haven't created any list now if you've imported people in to, and created an email list then you will have them come up with whatever the name of that list is so now we've selected all contacts if we look over here it tells you 442 that's how many people members I've got in my courses so um, contacts in selected list so if I turn that off it's going to go to zero if I select all contacts or any other lists that you've got set up they're going to appear in there now remember also you could go and select that as well and that would bring in more so if you've got multiple lists you can send them to multiple contacts so this is all contacts okay so now we're going to apply the filtering so what I want to do for this is I want to apply a filter to filter out everybody apart from the people that are in a course that I select so um, you can see also SMTP is I'm using Zenla Mail so this is Zenla Mail system okay so I haven't got anything any integrations in there to set any anything else up I'm just using the Zenla Mail so if you've got other integrations you could use that to send out your mail via SMTP so let's set up the filtering let's go to advanced filtering and first thing we can do is we can you can hover over here and see what it means but you need to set up a filter group so I'm going to set up a filter group we're going to call it something I'm going to call this in this case I'm going to call it jewelry students and we'll call it today's date which is the second here okay so now we set that up um, this is what it will be called this filter is called this so now what I can do is I can add a filter to it so this is the filter group yeah so the top that what it is in its entirety so let's set up a filter for this and filter out only students that are in my jewelry course so add filter roll is let's go and you've got loads of different options to actually pinpoint down exactly where you want to get your um, list from and who you want to send it out to we're going to go enroll enrolled in course okay so that's enrolled with course and now we need to select it so I come in here and I find my jewelry design course which is this one and watch this little number when I hit save 442 this is everyone so I need to save it save it and there you go I've got 170 people on this jewelry course so this is done I've now filtered it so you can use you can edit the filters and go in and choose tons of different options in here so you have a load of different options role is you know role is admin leads you could do it via that completed a course um, enrolled via a plan you know not subscribed in a funnel subscribed in a funnel um, user tags user tags so if you set up user tags you've got those uh, emails open not open clicked do, 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 do. so loads of options so if I've got this I'm filtering 170 people let's just change this let's change it to role is and let's go in here and select site admin now only one will come up because there's only one site admin of my site there you go so this is how you can filter your students down and then you can send the emails out to them so if I'm carrying on from here I've just selected myself uh, just for this 
Ask Zendler. So in here we come to content. So in the content we need a subject. So you can call this whatever you want. So jewelry, uh, design, get 95% off. Not that I ever do that. And then you can go um, special offer two. And then we can add personalization. So special offer two, and we can go first name. There you go. Put a space, another personalization last name so now you've got jewelry design 90% off special offer to whatever their first name is whatever their surname is depending on what they um, logged into your account as so here we got high and then you see you've got personalization there but we can always put more in there if we want to go into there and just select from those options that we have and you can type your email so whatever you like you can just type away you can drop images in here just generally just a WYSIWYG editor what you see is what you get and then you can end it, um, cheers, like that, something like that. So again, down here, you can preview it. So this is what it's sending out. You can also send a test in here and hit send test, or you can go to next. So by going to next, you can schedule this to send now, and it will send it now if I hit that button. You can also schedule it. So you can schedule it by date, time, time zone, okay? Or you can leave it as a draft, all right? So as soon as you hit that send button, that will go out to the filtered contacts or members of your course or membership site. So hopefully that's helped you guys. That's how to do filters inside. Now remember filter, this filter system works exactly the same way for email funnels as well. And any 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 place that you see filter options, it work in the same way. So just, you know, once you understand that, you'll understand other principles going through the site. Okay guys, so that's another Ask Zendler, hope that's helped you and I'll see you around.